Hey, what is going on, you slimy skitty? Today we're playing some games with the B Drill deck. Um, I'm sure some of you have seen uh, this deck before, uh, originally created by Tord Reklev, greatest player of all time. Uh, it is a Spiritomb B Drill deck as our main attackers. Uh, we're not great against other one prizer decks. We are kind of a one prizer deck ourselves. The point of the deck is to abuse the Destiny Stinger against our opponent's Pokemon, and then we send up a Poke Doll after we knock out they're active and ourselves with the destiny stinger uh we send up poke doll so they don't draw a prize card for their turn they can knock out the poke doll if they want but then it's basically like they had knocked out the beedrill so we kind of trade back and forth we're not the worst against other one prizer decks but it's definitely not uh great matches but we're really good against stuff that has gx's and tag teams and pokemon like that uh because we'll the Beedrill will knock itself out, and they'll get one prize card, and then we'll knock out, I don't know, we'll great catcher up into Denning, we'll draw two prize cards, and then we'll set up a Poke Doll, and then we went two for one, right? They knock out the Poke Doll for their turn, and we end up favorable in the prize trade, and that's the point of the deck. We also have Spirit Team in here, uh, so we can also use Grass Energy on our Beedrill, and also just like another attacker, because we don't, we can't set up enough Beedrills to constantly deal with our opponent's Pokemon all the time, so it's nice to have Spirit Team to use instead with the Building Spite and the Anguish Cry to knock out some smaller stuff our opponent might throw at us, where we don't really want a Beedrill, I don't know, let's say they throw up a, uh, hit us with a, something smaller that's not a GX or attack, they hit us with like a Victini, right, they're playing ADP Birds and they send a Victini and hit us for, for 40 or whatever, knock out one of our Jirachis, and they draw uh, two prize cards, and we want to knock that out, but we don't want to use our Beedrill, we can use a Spear Tomb instead, and we build up the Building Spite, use the Anguish Cry, there we go, uh, we can also, like I said, use Grass Energy, because the Destiny Singer does require us to have a damage counter on us, um, so we can attach a grass energy and then we can build in spite and then we can move the damage off with ominous posture with the jinx put the damage from the spirit tomb onto the beedrill and then we get the knockout with the destiny stinger and that's it that's the deck we got it's some jirachi support some zebstrika support in here there for the supporters it is five turn one supporters in the two oaks and four three elms sorry and then we got four rosa to like get our combos set up every time and then we have the draw is of Shrika to back up us using Rosa as our supporter for the turn and Stellar Wish as well. And I got four Cynthia's because Cynthia's kind of just the best overall draw supporter right now. So that's it. The deck has been super good, actually, and from what I've been playing around with it. Uh, big fan. Definitely recommend checking it out if you're looking for something new and different. Let's go ahead. Let's play some games with Beedrill. All right. We're going first here in this one. We got a, a pretty perfect start. We got the Elm, the Blitzel. Uh, Going to go ahead and grab myself. Uh, looks like second step striker's prize so i'm gonna go ahead and the jinx's prize so i gonna grab myself a spirit tomb and two weedle i think i'm trying to think if there's anything else i would want here but this seems pretty good to me spirit tomb two weedle uh we can actually calm away a weedle next turn and then rare candy out a beedrill already so we're gonna build up our spite here on both of our spirit tombs and then yeah we got the rare candy so you're gonna go ahead and bash. Yeah, got the evolve to the Zipstrika, calm away the Weedle, Ray Candy the Beedrill, and good to go, good to go, good to go. Opponent opened the Jirachi, no idea what they're playing besides the Jirachi. For all I know, it's a quad Jirachi deck and they're attacking with Slap. Uh, maybe the ADP GX attack first and then Slap for 60, who knows? It would be pretty good matching up against Spirit Tomb if they can get enough Slaps online. So maybe it's Slap Malamar, Metal Energy, Psychic Energy, set up Slap every turn. There's a Poke Doll. That's never something I want to see. There's another Jirachi and an Escape Board. We'll see what else they got here. Yeah, never something I want to see. Never a big fan of seeing Poke at all. That means my my opponent is playing some shenanigans. There's a Bryson man. So if I had to guess, I would probably assume it is Doll Stall. It might be um, the other deck that's really annoying as well. I don't know all of them are really annoying. Uh, it could be Pidgey Control, which is definitely a little bit easier for us to deal with. Just need to get some energy. Okay, it is Pidgey Control um, or some kind of control deck. There's a Ditto. So it seems, I have no idea. I'm lost, I'm lost. There's a Ditto, there's a Lily's Poke Doll. We just need to get an energy and start attacking. There's an energy, we can start attacking. Um, yeah, I guess we're, that's, that's it, that's the game plan. Get Zeb Striker out, which we already do have. Um, we have to assume they're gonna maybe plan to try and knock out Zeb Striker. So we do wanna get out our Ditto, and then hopefully get our other Zeb Striker out of the prize cards. Or we could use Brock Squit, get this one back uh, after they knock it out, and then evolve it again. Um, yeah, we really just want to assume our opponent is 
gonna have a way to knock out our Striker, so we just want to prepare ourselves best for that potential scenario uh if it does develop um yeah i guess i could have calm for ditto and then sprinted but not necessary for sure not necessary got another calm now it doesn't really change anything yeah we're just gonna keep swinging here poke doll is probably gonna make its way into the active from our opponent uh we're gonna have to knock that out i don't want to knock it out but we don't really have a choice uh, i'm sure our opponent's game plan is to run us out of energy but they might have some other alternative game plan besides that they could be more of a mill deck than a control deck like they might not really play energy control or something like that gonna have to wait and see there's bellaba to mill three uh got rid of some of our stuff yeah they did get rid of john fan was sturdy mew and fire energy so i think they are much more of a mill deck than a control deck so i don't think they're getting rid of our dark energy we do not want to play any cards out of our hand they are not going to reset stamp us they're going to sit here and try and mill us out of cards we need to sit here and just anguish cry over and over and over again getting a uh cynthia in our hand would be very nice so that way we have that to uh shuffle our hand back into our deck at some point we're gonna hold these comms that way we can calm these guys back into our deck we're also gonna hold the pokey doll because then we can put the pokey doll back into the deck as well um yeah, i doubt we're gonna get reset stamped like i said i don't think we're ever gonna reset stamped if we do that probably just overall helps us we will still build our spite up to give ourselves that option of like knocking out our own spirit tombs and we could like reset stamp our opponent low or something um but we're just gonna be aggressively attacking anguish cry every turn super aggressive not slowing down not slowing down anytime soon just attack 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 there's a smooth over um so they can combo that with stellar wish it's an interesting choice i have not seen a macargo in a long time it has been a long time since i've seen the stage one macargo last time i saw it i think i was playing macargo gx with macargo um wasn't wasn't great wasn't the worst thing ever definitely played worse decks but yeah it's been a been a long time it's been a long time all right there is the surge's strategy what else do they have to go with it there's a fan club so we'll see some more of our opponent's deck finally we'll see what else they have going on here oh i guess we need to get up to four damage counters anyway so we can probably one shot an orangaroo orangaroo and jirachi so it looks like the main part of their draw engine is just jirachi so it looks like their draw engine is jirachi macargo uh, which doesn't seem super efficient so i'm not too worried about it there's another bryson man here to my ditto uh, a doll uh, and my Beedrill. Um, I would like to have kept the the Ditto, um, but at this point, I'm not too afraid of Zebstrika happening. We have seen two Sturdy Dawn fans now, which his ability basically is Focus Sash, if you're familiar with that card from Expanded. If the Pokemon has full HP and is knocked out by damage from an attack, uh, the Pokemon's not knocked out, and his remaining HP is 10. Um, so when we attack into it, they'll be able to do that. We haven't They haven't found any fan feet yet, so it's basically just a stall deck from what I can tell. The Dawn fan gets hit, and then you could heal it with last chance potion um so it's basically like a more pokey dolls in the deck uh, but we haven't seen a fan yet which is like interesting build spite there's that cynthia to work with now so we will be able to shuffle a bunch of cards back into our deck at some point and anguish cry and we're gonna keep going if we ever have to use the cynthia to try and or sprint to try and find more energy we can but like i said I don't think our opponent's trying to control our energy at all. I think it's like a straight up mill deck. Um, and their game plan is just to use like Bellaba every single turn and then hope to win the game that way. They might play Macargo GX. They do play fire energy. Um, so they might play Macargo GX. They might be able to play it, use it through Mew 3. We know they play Surge. We know they play Bellaba. So they can mill at least six cards in a turn. They can mill up to 11 if they, uh, they can mill up to 11 if they go <laughs> Surge, Bellaba, Bellaba, and then Kate, or and then Macargo GX. There is a Caitlyn and Cynthia. Get rid of that. Get a Bellaba back. So they will be able to use Bellaba here. Mill another three cards and keep going. Once again, still have yet to see a Fanfi. They have three Dawn fans in the discard pile, though. I'm very curious to see if they actually play Fanfi. They have to. There's no reason to play these Dawn fans. Oh, I thought I we were going to see it. No, but it's an Absol. Okay. Absol instead. Um, I wish it was a. I wish it was a fan fee. I want it to be, I want there to be fan fee in their deck. I want it to exist in their deck. No fan fee yet. Just an Absol here. Rangaroo, Rangaroo, Makargo, Jirachi, Absol. We've seen a lot of Jirachis, a lot of dolls. No fan fee, but for some reason, three Dawn fan. I'm trying to think of what else it could possibly ever be in the deck for. Maybe they only evolved the Ditto into the Dawn fan. That doesn't seem right. There's another Bryson man. There's the fan fee. Finally, there he is. There he is. I've been waiting for you, buddy. There you are. Retreat to the Absol. And it looks like probably pass from there. 
Is the Mew still in their discard pile? It is. They could Psy Power knock out both of our Spirit Tombs. So I don't think we're going to charge up our Spirit Tombs damage anymore past this point. Just going to swing again. Because then they could actually knock... If we put them to 5 and 5, they could actually go Mew, knock out both Spirit Tombs. Which I don't want to have happen. So right now they can only knock out one Spirit Tomb with Mew. Skateboard is nice. If they do play Custom Catcher uh, to try and trap something in the active... Having more outs to be able to retreat is nice if they ever should reset stamp us, which I kind of, like I said, I doubt they play reset stamp because um, it like theoretically only helps us um, to not be milled out. There's a fan fee. We know they play it now. Uh, they need to find a Dawn fan, which they have three in the discard pile, so they might be out of Dawn fan at this point. They have Smooth Over to work with constantly, though, um, so they can kind of get any card they want. There is a Poke Doll. No surprise there. There goes the Poke Doll. And it's going to be a retreat to the Poke Doll and probably just go ahead and pass. Nope, Steven's Resolve. Okay, they're going to be able to set up a lot of good stuff for themselves here with this Steven's turn. <clears throat> All right, we'll see. Pass after this. We have a really big hand, um, which means when we do play this in, we're going to put a lot of cards back in the deck. So it's going, it's going pretty well, actually. It's going just fine here as of right now. Just need to take three more prize cards. Just going to swing. Not going to do anything else. Just keep swinging. Keep chilling. Draw our prize card. Oh, we don't get a prize card this time because it is a Poke Doll. Uh, we play those too. Retreat to the Jirachi. Let's see what they got off the Steven's Resolve. There's a Surge. Is it just going to be Surge, Bellaba, Bellaba? Nope, the Surge. Caitlyn and Cynthia get back the Bellaba. Uh, there is that last chance potion I was talking about. So when this thing does get hit uh, for a knockout, which it probably will, I guess we could though. We can actually just knock it out with uh, Destiny Stinger. Um instead of going through the whole trouble of having to um yeah we can actually just knock it out with destiny stinger that's going to be the game plan here when the dawn fans make their way to the active we just kind of destiny destiny stinger take the knockout playing the anti <clears throat> unintentional anti uh dawn fan sturdy deck here i guess we're, we're, we're unintentionally playing a deck like and they're just going to concede yeah i think we're a little bit too far ahead we had an answer for the dawn fans in the b drill and we get this first up here over our opponents very unique very weird uh, Mill Dawn Fan deck. Opponent coming at us with that Fire Psychic. Um, not quite sure what the Fire and Psychic would actually be. We're gonna find out here soon. We'll go first. Perfect start. We got the Oaks, we got a Jirachi, we got a Cynthia, we got a Grass Energy, we got the Jinx, and the Weedle. I don't actually think it can get too much better than this. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty good. All right, we are up against the Baby Blue Cephalon. There's Psychic in their deck, though, so they maybe play the Psychic Baby Blue Cephalon, which is actually pretty annoying for us to deal with. Um, that's actually super annoying to deal with. Okay. Oak setup. This, this, and probably could get Ditto because we have the Kakuna and Thirds of Trika. We have the Candy. Um, but what's it called? We'd have to get rid of Jinx. We definitely want Heavier Spirit Tomb. We can only take one Spirit Tomb, so that kind of stinks. Um, could go Second Weedle. Could go Ditto. I think I'm just going to go with the Ditto here. But I could go with the second Weedle. Um, second Weedle would also be fine. Because then I can actually get rid of the Weedle instead. Uh, I can calm away the Weedle. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Alright, so now we can calm away the Weedle. Or candy out the Beedrill. And then still have Jinx to be able to move the damage around. Okay, touch this here. So I wish... I actually... I think I'm just going to take the Elm here for the... Oh yeah, there's no reason not to take the Elm to have the option of the Elm. So we're going to take the Elm here for sure. Uh... Building spite. We definitely want to get a knockout as soon as possible on this thing on the next turn. Um, so we're going to set up for that. I'm not going to bench the Jinx yet. I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to pass. Probably going to go bench Jinx, move the damage over. Calm, Red Candy, Beedrill. I want another Spirit Tomb into play if we can get that. I want another Spirit Tomb. That'd be great. That'd be sick. Um, well, maybe I should have moved that damage over. So next turn, I could Building Spite with two Spirit Tombs and potentially move that damage over. Okay, there's Miss... Magus in their Baby Blue Cephalon. That's what's going on in here. They play Miss Magus. I wonder if they can actually, if they actually set up for like turn one uh, Fireball Circus. That would be interesting. I've never seen a deck like this before. Um, I probably won't ever see one like this ever again. This is probably a one-time experience right here. Is this this matchup? This is. I'm probably never gonna play against this deck ever again. I don't think I'm gonna ever play this deck personally. This is definitely a one-time experience. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Yeah, I definitely should have jinxed this damage counter over right now. Um, so that way I could then uh, jinx a damage from a different spirit tomb to this spirit tomb. 
And also this would just be in play in case I get reset stamped. I mean, I wasn't really expecting to get reset stamped, but it's looking like we're gonna get reset stamped. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what our opponent has here. Four fires, do they have the welder knockout? I'm fine if they have the welder knockout. Um, doesn't mean a whole ton to me. They're already giving us two prize cards in a one prize trading matchup. I mean, we'd like to find a doll to combo with our B drill, but really not that big of a deal right now. Especially if they don't reset stamp us, our hand is pretty sick. A lot of options, a lot of stuff going on. Don't even need to use the communication um, unless I really want to get another spirit tomb, which I kind of do actually want to get. I kind of do want another spirit tomb into play, so I might get rid of the Weedle, or I could just Elms Lecture, um, but I kind of want a Poke Doll to send up behind uh, instead of setting up an actual Pokemon. So, go Candy, Beedrill. Um, although I could go Bench. Bench, calm away Weedle, grab ourselves um, a Zabstrika, and then we could Professor Elm's Lecture, nah, go like this, um, I'm going to build Spite before I get, but I could Elm's, and I could get, but I want to get a Pokedoll into play, that's the thing, I want to get a Pokedoll into play, so we're going to go like this, there's that Pokedoll I was talking about, <clears throat> move it up to the Beedrill, Bench of Spirit Tomb. Build its bite. Then we hold the hand because it has a rainbow. Um, and then we just go ahead and hit him with that Destiny Stinger. Uh, yeah. Knock out this Blacephalon. Send up the Lily's Poke Doll. Um, and then, yeah, we got, we got some stuff to work with in the hand. Got the two Spirit Tombs down like I wanted. Uh, build up more damage into play on those guys. There's a Candy Bee Drill as well. This is pretty much perfect, man. It does not get better than this. This is like. This is insane. We're drawing insanely well with this deck. We can just chill with this next hand because we can build up this guy's spite, attach the rainbow, and then build up this guy's spite, move a damage over. Candy, or Bench Weedle, Bench Jirachi. You know, draw our card for turn. All right, take the knockout, and then we go Candy, Beedrill, and then just go from there. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much ideal. We got the Zeb Striker online. If our opponent does decide to all of a sudden hit us with that reset stamp, which I'm sure they play. If you're playing Miss Mages in your deck, you probably play... Uh, Reset stamp, there's no reason to not play one without the other. So they're almost definitely playing that uh, reset stamp for sure, for sure. Um, so if they hit us with that, that would be a little bit annoying. But we have the Jezeb Striker to help us out in uh, that area. The Jinx is doing work here. It's looking really good for us. Not so great for our opponent, especially with them constantly giving us prize cards from this Miss Magus. Um, we're just going to come out ahead on the uh, the prize exchange, almost, almost certainly here. Um... They play Custom Catchers, I guess it could get a little weird, they can get around our Poke Doll, but they would need a lot on the turn to be able to pull that kind of play off, so I'm not too worried about that happening. Um, they do have Beast Ring activated, which I am sure they are looking for here, I'm sure they're looking for Beast Ring here, um, to be able to attack this turn and put some pressure on me, you definitely want to pressure the Poke Doll. I guess they could like not Beast Ring this turn, just go for a Blazer to try and get through the Poke Doll. that would also be fine, there's the Beast Ring, they're good to go, here we go. Just one to the bench, guy. So I think it is going to be a blazer here. They are going with the blazer. Okay. Blazer it is. They found one of their welders. Um, yeah, there's no reason for us not to take this knockout, though, I don't think. We could wait and build up more damage with Spite. There's just going to be the concession. I'm not too surprised. They were definitely in a bad spot. Definitely not a great matchup for our opponent. They already have to... Definitely better against a tag team GX Pokemon. So, uh... A reasonable concession. Our opponent rocking that lightning fire, water, metal. I have no idea. That's that one's that one's eluding me right now. I mean, the last one was eluded me as well. I thought it was something it wasn't, and it turned out to be something I thought it wasn't. Uh, we win the coin flip though. Going first, that's pretty cool. It's a good start, especially when you have no idea what your opponent's playing. Going first is usually a good response to that. Our opening hand is spectacular. The only thing we're missing here is like a turn one oaks or turn one elms. Even if we wanted to though, because we do have this Cynthia. Um, and we have a pl plenty of bench Pokemon to throw down. Looks like a baby Blacephalon deck is what we're up against. Definitely would still want to go with an Elms or an Oaks here, turn one, get a Blitzel set up, as well as more Spiritombs. Uh, Spiritombs, very good for price trading for us, but we need to like build up their damage. So yeah, Ochre Elm here off the cellar, which would be ideal. Kakuna is very good as well to combo with one of these Weedles. Top tech, a Rosa, not exactly what we're looking for. There is that Elm's Lecture, and we are good to start going here. Elm here, <clears throat> gonna get ourselves, I think Spiritomb, Spirit Spiritomb, Spirit Blitzel. I can't think of any reason to take anything else. Yeah, we're gonna go Spiritomb, Spiritomb, Spirit Blitzel. 
start building up that spite. That is oh so important to uh, taking these knockouts in these very like prize trade heavy matchups. I don't even know what you really want to call them, but they're like yeah prize trade heavy matchups. I guess that's I guess that's a fine way to go about it. Uh, bench the whole squad and pass over to our opponent. I could have maybe benched one less spirit tomb because then I could have gone. No, I couldn't rotate Rosa for the full combo that I would want. Uh, but we can Rosa. We can't get a Rainbow Energy off Rosa, <clears throat> unfortunately. So we're like going to be a damage short without Rainbow. Um, but we could get Jinx. If we get Jinx plus Rainbow. We can take the knockout with Anguish Cry on our opponent on our opponent's Turtonator. But if they take a knockout with Turtonator, they lose. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to one shot the Turtonator next turn. So we're looking for Jinx plus Rainbow Energy. Currently don't have access to it. Do have the Cynthia. Can evolve to the Kakuna. Push Spirit Tomb to the active. Then we're looking for that off the Cynthia, I guess. And maybe we just get like hard retreat into a Lily's Poke Doll and just give our opponents a Poke Doll for a turn. That would also be fine. Um, if we just send up a Poke Doll into the active at the end of our turn, which is, I would have wanted to do this turn. Obviously, didn't have the hand to make that work, but that's fine. There's the Heatran GX from our opponent. So it's looking like an Ability Czar build from our opponent, or just like Firebox in general. Uh, Acro Bike. Yeah, so I'm not really going to be able to predict exactly what's in our opponent's deck. Um, if they don't have nine tails down though, they probably can't use a gust effect, uh, which is pretty good. So we can, we'll pretty much know that for sure. If they don't have a Vulpix or a nine tails down, they're probably not gusting. There's an escape board to the Heatran and then the dead a change. What did they discard there? A welder. So they only have three welder left to work with and we'll see. Yep. All right. They got the switch into the Heatran. So now I would definitely be fine with taking the knockout with Beedrill. I could get rare candy. Jinx grass off of our Rosa <clears throat> Take the knockout and then we don't really have anything to send up Unfortunately unless we top deck a Lily's Poke Doll. So our ideal top deck here. I think it's just Lily's Poke Doll We take the knockout on this Heatran. We do give our opponent a prize card and we'd give them another prize card Potentially um, So yeah, I think we're gonna do that though. Take this knockout. They might whiff the welder on the next turn is the big thing uh, build up our spite We'll definitely push a Spirit Tomb into the active because it would be okay to lose one of those. Okay, Rosa. We're going to get Jinx, uh, Rare Candy, and Grass Energy. Like I said, it's unfortunate we do not have the Lily's Poke Doll to go with this full combo. Um, I guess we wouldn't be able to do that because we'd also need a Rainbow because I wouldn't have Rainbow I probably shouldn't have benched the third Spirit Tomb. I mean, it's not hurting me here, but like... Um, I'm losing a lot of flexibility on potential plays um, by having done that. So, um, and then yeah, Destiny Stinger. Which one? Which Spear Tomb do I want to send up here? Is the question. I think I want to send up one with two damage counters, just in case our opponent doesn't have a response. Um, it becomes better for me that way. Destiny Stinger, knock out on Heatran. We also need to look to knock out the Dene at some point as well, and that we that we can do with the Spear Tomb. Actually, um, I actually might send up the one with one damage counter on it. Get rainbow building spite move a damage gets it up to four i only lose one damage if they do get the knockout um so i think i am setting up the one with one damage counter definitely makes a difference especially because there's a rainbow i don't think i'm supposed to be able to draw my prize cards first but now that we know that we have the rainbow we're definitely setting up the one with one damage counter on it 100 i don't think that's how it's supposed to work in real life wait how are you supposed to make it take the knockout you draw your prize cards before you send up I actually don't even know. I think you send up first. I think you're always supposed to have a Pokemon on your active. Yo, let me know in the comment section down below because it's eluding me right now. Do you push up your Pokemon before you draw your prize cards? I mean, I've played so often in real life, but I always just do it. Um, now I can't think of the actual... I think you're supposed to send up first. Yeah, I think you're supposed to send up first. Um, maybe not. Maybe you see your... No, you do see your prize cards first, don't you? Take the knockout, draw your prize cards, push up Pokemon. I think you do draw your prize cards first. You know what? It doesn't matter. This is what we're currently doing. There's the Vulpix that I was slightly scared of earlier. Definitely annoying to deal with. Uh, we're going to take this knockout on Turtonator. They'll get a knockout. And then I think we'll stamp them. Or we should maybe stamp them this turn. That Heat Factory is super good for our opponent. So I almost kind of want to wait until I can stamp them a little bit lower. Um, yeah, the Heat Factory is like super, super, super good. We don't play any stadiums. So we actually can't remove our opponent's Heat Factory. Which kind of stinks. Um, but oh well. Oh well is the... Uh, is the unfortunate uh, realization here. Can't do anything about it. All right, gonna build spite. And then build spite. I'm gonna use the dark energy here. Um, and then move a damage up with the Jinx. Gonna bench a Weedle. 
Gonna play the reset stamp. I think it's fine to just use it here while we have it. Who knows if we're gonna see it again. So I think just using it here is fine. And then play the Cynthia. And we're looking for a Jirachi, a Zebstrika, some other stuff. I found none of that. Actually, our hand kind of stinks. Um, move this up. And anguish cry for the knockout and then we need to get one more knockout on something and then we need to knock out this to Dene. um but this is not looking the price rate okay rosa is going to help a ton i was like the price rate's not looking that great for us um but we should be okay now the the rosa is going to help a ton there's a jirachi from our opponents if they whiff the welder here this should be pretty much wrapped up our opponent can't do anything about it so that's what we're hoping we're hoping our opponent whiffs the welder here on on being able to attack and if they do that boom we're in business game over no way they can make that comeback there's the cherish ball grab themselves a dedene there's a hearth to work with as well so i'm assuming the cherish ball is going to grab dedene they'll have access to fire energy now they just need access to the welder they have two welders in the discard pile and they'll also need a switch card to move the jirachi so two welder gone they have two welder left Energy's not going to be a problem because they have the hearth victini knocks out our spirit tomb just fine uh it's getting close it's getting close it's getting very 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 close um there is the dede change they're gonna attack us with the big team, like I said, and then our response is gonna be, I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We need to use Beedrill. Beedrill knocks itself out, and then they could gust up our Spirit Tomb and knock it out. There's the pass though, so this one should be just about wrapped up. I'm gonna build in spite. We do have the Great Catcher in hand. I'm gonna build in spite again in the active and i'm gonna great catcher this turn because that means next turn it's gonna be way easier for us to potentially take a knockout i'm going to attach to we're gonna great catcher like i said great catcher get rid of switch and dark energy let's go with that get up one of those the denes bring it to the active um i am going to put the Pokédoll in play for right now we can always put it on the bottom of our deck if we want to i'm gonna put this here because this guy's like our, if we really need something to do something, I think we're going to want the Beedrill. Uh, like they, they make a bigger Pokemon that we have to deal with. We're going to need Beedrill versus a Rainbow on a Spear Tomb. And if not, then we're going to have to like two-shot their active. I don't know. We'll figure it out. There's a Beedrill. So we're already set up to be able to do that. Yeah, they bring up, if they use like Reshizard here or like another Heatran to knock out the Spear Tomb, make something bigger than what the Spear Tomb could knock out, then we're going to need Beedrill. Um, so yeah, there it is. Second Heatran. <laughs> As I was saying it, there he is, the second Heatran. Um, so we can use Beedrill to knock that out, or we could two-shot it with Spirit Tomb. I don't know. We'll figure it out. There's another Dedene, the third Dedene of our opponents. They probably only played the three. That's the third one. Here he is. Here he comes. Stellar Wish from our opponent with the Jirachi. Welder. There's their Welder. Finally found it. A turn late. Um, that's what we needed to make sure we stayed ahead in the prize trade. Otherwise, we were looking at maybe getting into a situation where we would tie um tie the game because we would use beedrill to take the knockout oh no there's the nine tails so i could have actually knocked out the jirachi instead and then saved the great catcher for the turn after um which means i would be able to deal with their active no matter what which is jirachi and then all i would have to do was be chased down something so i guess that made it a little bit awkward for us the way i actually played this out um but i was like afraid of us getting reset stamped like that and then not being able to take the knockout so that's what i was afraid of was getting reset stamped and then not being able to use beedrill to take the knockout all right they knocked out our spirit tomb we do not have candy beedrill in hand good top deck rosa i think we set up the pokey doll here they might not have enough fire let's see there's one there three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen could just go like this scroll over 12 15 16 they might not be able to actually bring anything up so we can just chill here building spite yeah we weren't able to get the zeb strike online which really sucks before we uh got knocked out there and then gonna pass with lily's poke doll interactive if they can nine tails up our weedle i think we do just lose the game so we're hoping if they play like the 18 fire energy or i mean they've got a lot of tech pokemon in here like they got the feeny a lot of stuff that you don't always see the reset stamps they had to make cuts somewhere um there's the hearth they got a fire, but they have to attack with Victini this turn. Have to attack with Victini. Switch into Victini for the knockout. Okay, they don't win yet, though. Victini, knock out my Lily's Poke Doll. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to send up Weedle. Now they have a ton of fire, so now they can chase whoever they want. I'm going to send up Weedle. We need a Dark Energy. We need a Rosa. We need a Pokemon. There's a Pokemon. Calm away the Pokemon. Grab ourselves the Zeb Shrika. 
We're in business. Here we go. Zeb Shrika onto the Blitzel. I'll put the escape board on our active and sprint. Let's see what we get. Need an energy. Need a Rosa. Need a... Oh my goodness. That is none of those things. Okay. Um. Well, this has gotten kind of awkward. Let's go ahead and calm away the Beedrill. Grab ourselves Jirachi. Need something else to work with here for sure. Jirachi's coming down. Treat and Stellar Wish. That's an Elm. That doesn't do a whole lot. We're gonna go ahead and get the Elm though. Gonna play the Elm. Take the boys out of the deck. Bench another Weedle, because we, if they use Heatran, the only thing that we have that can one-shot Heatran is Beedrill. So we got to bench Weedle. Yeah, we have to bench Weedle. I'm going to build in Spite. Bench a Weedle. I'm going to move the damage from there to there. Um, so really what we don't want our opponent to knock out is... Actually, we have Jirachi and Zev Shrika, so we should be in a good spot here. Like, we have two ways to draw cards. I would I would prefer that they knock out, just not knock out my Zev Shrika. I just want Zev Shrika to stick around. <laughs> That's all I really want. If Zev Shrika sticks around, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Um, looking to keep Zev Shrika around. That's 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 really it. If we can keep Zev Shrika around, that'd be great. Zev Shrika is kind of our best draw support. We'll see what they chase here. I'm very curious to see what they go after, actually. Zev Shrika is definitely what I would go after. Yeah, they're going after Zev Shrika. Okay, Zev Shrika is being taken care of. That's unfortunate. Uh, we still have the Jirachi, though. We can still set up a Beedrill. Gonna send up Jirachi. And then... Or we could send up Weedle, actually, because if we top deck Rosa... We only have... We have three Rosa left. Let's say we only have one Rosa left. We actually have three Rosa left. We only have one Switch card left in the Escape Board. So... I think we just have to go with Jirachi and hope we hit the Escape Board. Now I'm gonna top deck Rosa and feel like an idiot. Nope. Top deck Grass Energy. Stellar Wish. There's Rosa. But that doesn't quite get me there, I don't think... And our opponent can for sure use the gust effect. We are a little bit short here. Take Rosa. But it's not going to do it. We're one card short. We needed the Beedrill or the Rare Candy because we can Rosa. We can get <clears throat> Rare Candy, Beedrill. Uh, but we can't also get a Skateboard. So we're a card short. If we take a Skateboard, we don't get Rare Candy. Um, the Beedrill, I guess, doesn't really matter. It's just we're with the Rare Candy or the Skateboard short here. So yeah, coming up just short, I can't quite come up with a different game plan. We can hit them with the Anguish Cry for 160, which like I said, is a little bit short. And yeah, I think that's it. We're just going to lose here on this last turn. Nothing to do about it. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, we're going to come up a little bit short here. Super close game overall, but not quite able to pull it off. I, you know what I could have done is I could have sent up the Spirit Tomb. If I had top deck Rosa, I could have knocked out my own spirit tomb. Oh no, because that would draw my last product. Don't listen to me. Gonna hit that concede. Take an L here to the firebox deck in the last one. It was super close. Uh, we couldn't quite get out these up strike gun. Then when they did hit us with that reset stamp, that's it. We lost. Couldn't do anything. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.